Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta.Exchange. And today, once again, nobody expected Nifty Future will touch uh, 18,900. Uh, just 100 points short of our target of 19,000. Uh, you may remember, less than a month before, I gave an interview to moneycontrol.com. Uh, I said, you know, our target is 18,500 to 19,000 by the end of December. I think the way the market looks, it will touch 19,000 uh, before the end of December. So, Nifty hit a fresh all-time high on back of uh, positive global queues. And uh, in the morning, you know, the Nifty was looking good, but the bank Nifty came under severe selling pressure after moving higher, after opening higher. The bank Nifty fell almost 350 points from intraday high. And all that 350 point fall has been wiped out, shot up in just last 30 minutes. The last 30 minutes is just a mad rush. And no wonder FIAs have pumped in 9,000 crores today. I don't remember when was the last time FIAs on a single day bought for 9,000 crores. And I always tell you know, but now I'm becoming a little bit fan of uh, technical analysis. So, normally in technical people say, when an all-time high is crossed, that is not the time to sell, there is a time to buy. When all-time low, of course, there is no question of all-time low because Nifty started around a 1000 point in 1995, let us say 50 to week low. So, when 50 to low, weak low is broken, that is not the time to buy, that is a time to sell. So buy the overbought market and sell the oversold market. That's what the technical people believe. So once the Nifty took uh, all time high, you can see Nifty moving another 100, 150 point just in a matter of 30 minutes in the last half an hour. Now the question is, FIA is pumping in 9000 crore, I am still not able to digest uh, that too when the market is at all-time high. As I told you, the maximum I have seen 6,000-7,000 crore only. But however, domestic institutions have sold for about 4,000 crore. But that is less than half of that. In the last 30 minutes, Nifty shot up nearly 150 points and Bank Nifty shot up more than 300 points. And I tell you, when the institutions, if they want to buy huge quantity or when they want to sell huge quantity, they always do it only in the last half an hour. Why? Because if they buy huge quantity in the during the daytime, what will happen? People will be looking at the chart, intraday chart, you know, they will go long along with them or they will go short along with them if they are selling. And you know, so the institutions cannot buy huge quantity at the desired price. But usually, Intraday traders who are going long or short by looking at the technical chart, they usually don't go long or short after 3 p.m. Because you don't have much time to uh, fire, like to square up, you know. So that is why most of the time the huge moves happen only after 3 o'clock. And incidentally, yesterday and day before yesterday, it was last half an hour the markets fell so much. And today, everybody was in that mood. So, expecting market to fall in the last half an hour, everybody bought the put option and then they have chosen to take the market higher by about 150 points. So, the market is market. It has its own mind. Last three days, US markets were falling every day. But last four days, Nifty was up by more than 300 points. Uh, sorry, 3%. I'm not saying 300 points. It's 3%. It's about 500, 600 points. Yesterday, I told you I sold 18,400 PE and 18,800 CE. I think I'll be coming into some trouble, but I will manage. That's not a big deal. Today, Nifty crossed 18,800 in spot, but after that it came down. Then again, the closing price is the last half an hour weighted average price. So because of that, it is showing even lower. So tomorrow, if everything goes well, we will be opening around somewhere around 18,800 and still it is manageable. So today, uh, some six stocks were added in MSCA Global Standard Index and of which two stocks, Warren Beverages and Bajaj Holding. Warren Beverages shot up 14%, Bajaj Holding shot up 
Bajaj holding shot up 10% nearly. Reliance was very firm since the morning. That's because of the news flow that natural gas price liberalization is coming. Despite a positive news in Adani enterprise, so morning it went up, then after that it came down. So it was flat, but last half an hour, so it moved higher along with other stocks also. So at the end of the day at 5.30, uh, the GDP data, India's GDP data came at 6.2%. Expected one was 6.3. It has come 6.2. But again, you know, still we are much better than uh, other world countries. Our GDP data will always be good. So US markets are keenly waiting for uh, US G GDP data, uh, ADP non-form employment change, uh, consumer spending data, pending home sales data. There are too many data today. And more importantly, Indian time, midnight, uh, 12, uh, Fed chairman will be speaking. So markets will be focusing on the Fed chairman speech. So you know that can uh, for the last three days US markets falling. If any positive outcome, you know, so market can recover. And already the futures are trading well in the green only. Like we are very close to nineteen thousand. So people who have sold call options, you know, so they must be struggling. Incidentally, today in the pre-market, I said uh, three days before eighteen four put option added huge open interest. Two days before, 18.5 put option added huge open interest and one day before and 18,600 added huge open interest. In the pre-market I said, will today 18.7 put option will add huge open interest? I did not expect but that is what exactly has happened and today the huge open interest added at 16,700p. The last four days, it was a huge trending. And the people who could judge the trending, uh, they could make very good amount of money. There are too many moving parts now with a huge FIA buying, uh, domestic institutions selling, you know, a lot of data from US and other things. So tomorrow's expiry is going to be an interesting one. So let us see what happens tomorrow. So until then, it's time to enjoy your evening. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.